Kevin about four or five minutes to rest his voice. <laughs> right back to him. Things are calming down a bit. Not out of the woods in some spots, but much more volatile earlier tonight. Oh, it certainly was. And, you know, when we were looking at this earlier this afternoon at five and six, this is kind of what we were concerned about. The fact that uh, we knew that if storms could get going, then they could be capable of producing tornadoes and be quite intense. And they finally got going, and that's kind of where we landed here this evening. It, uh, fortunately, even as radar right now is still ugly, we are beginning to see things wind down. And I use that in the general sense, in the sense that the severe component of a lot of what has happened tonight is really quickly beginning to fade away, okay? And I'll point first things first out by this right here. You see this faint green line? I've talked about this several times. This is an outflow boundary, or what we call rain-cooled air that emanates out from the storms. Now, when this precedes the storms and gets so far ahead of them, well, usually what that means is that the storms, like you see now, are behind it. They pose a minimum severe risk. That's not to say they can't have any, but that means that they're kind of being choked off from the better fuel a little bit. So what they will do, though, is produce just tremendous amounts of lightning and heavy rainfall. So let's start in on the radar tour, Allison. Let's go from west to east here. Start first in the Highland County, and we'll work our way back. A flood threat is most certainly evolving for our area, though. And that's what I'm concerned about right now out here in Highland County. Heavy rain, maybe some gusty winds heading towards Marshall, for example, the Rainsboro community. But none of this is severe. It's looking a lot more ragged than it did earlier this evening. Probably some 30, 40 mile an hour wind gusts with that. Slide you south and let's go west. Take you through parts of Brown, Claremont County's heavy rainfall out here, thunder and lightning. But again, see this green line preceding the thunderstorms? That lets me know that these storms are probably getting choked off from the better fuel. OK, so while they are still rough in the sense that they're noisy and, you know, they're brightening the skies and heavy rainfall, it doesn't have the wind or tornado threat with it. All right, go back to the west now across the metro and look at this right here. This is what we're talking about. Wave after wave after wave of heavy rainfall now. While we may have gotten ourselves out of the threat for severe weather, volatile weather a little bit, I certainly think a flood threat is very real, especially across the metro area with these storms that are lining up moving from west to east, training over the same areas. Poor drainage areas will collect water, bottom of hills, underpasses, Water will pile up in these areas. Your basements could take an issue with this as well with round after round of heavy rainfall. Look at this really setting up now from downtown Cincinnati through the west side of Hamilton County. It is just pouring in buckets. Let's go on west Allison into southeast Indiana and you can see the rain train continues. And what's worrisome to me is the fact that storms keep regenerating here. So these storms are being fed. And basically, they're just lining out in what we call training or essentially moving over the same areas. So let's come out, Allison, and show the big picture. I'm happy to report that a number of us north of the Ohio River are now out of the tornado watch, okay? And for the most part, again, the threat for severe weather has really decreased unless you're ahead of this outflow boundary. Now, here's the flood threat. Notice how everything continues to basically line up from west to east. So we may still have several more hours of heavy rain and thunder and lightning to deal with tonight. But in general, you should be able to sleep uh, reassured that most of the severe threat is over with now. Let's go to tomorrow because we've been talking about a multi day severe potential here, and this is tomorrow's severe weather outlook. I still like where we are with this. I think the greater threat for severe weather tomorrow is actually far south from here. I suspect when we get the new update from the Storm Prediction Center, we will probably find ourselves still in a slight risk, but I think the enhanced risk, the greater real threat for severe weather it tomorrow, as I've been saying, I was more concerned about today than tomorrow. I think the greater risk for severe weather tomorrow is well to our south, really generally south of Louisville and Lexington, more in the direction of central Kentucky is where I think we're going to have more concerns tomorrow. So here we are. Futurecast not really doing the best of jobs with these storms because look where they have them. 
it's actually way down here now. But the general theme is for these showers and storms to get out of here after midnight. We'll probably wake up to partly cloudy skies in the morning. Tomorrow looks like a beautiful day during the day. And then as we get into tomorrow evening, watch what happens. Scattered showers and storms are likely to come through. However, I think tonight's storminess is the saving grace for tomorrow. OK, so we paid for tomorrow tonight. And while we'll have some showers and storms, I don't think they're going to be significant like they were this evening. And then they'll get out of here before midnight and we'll be quiet or at least simmering down the rest of the week weather wise. Here's a look over downtown. It is still pouring 66 right now here in Cincinnati. How do I know the severe threat has ended for folks north of the river too? Look at the winds. They're out of the north. So we've seen a shift in the wind direction. That's why I think while the flood threat is real for the next several hours, the severe component is all but gone for the most part. There's a look at your overnight. So the storms will slowly fade and then it gets quiet overnight. It's going to stay pretty humid out there. We'll top out. We'll get down to about 63 by morning tomorrow. Partly cloudy. It's going to be a very warm. It'll be a nice spring day. 83 until we have the threat for scattered showers and storms in the evening. I think the better part of the day, though, is going to be relatively quiet for us. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. All right, I'm going to leave tomorrow a weather impact day, though, although I'm less concerned about the severe threat. There could still be some lingering showers on Thursday, Mike and Sheree. We get a break on Friday, scattered showers in here on Saturday, and we're looking at a nice but cooler Mother's Day weekend. Kevin, thank you very much. Uh, Kevin had mentioned uh, South Lebanon, an area of concern. That